Hey there, wrestling fans! It's your host here, Team Rara, and we are back to do the 2015 WTLC review live from Boston, Massachusetts. I got a friend here. Go ahead and plug your social media. Subscribe to my YouTube, which is the Wrestling Town. And if you want, you can follow me on Instagram. Uh, I'm barely on there, but follow me on Instagram. Uh, it's uh, Raider or Viper One, I believe. Yeah. So yeah, um, yeah, we're here to do the TLC 2015 review. Uh, overall, I thought it was a good show, better than last year's, in my opinion. Uh, but yeah, um, what else? What else can we say about this? I guess we can just get into. The pre-show. Yes, the pre-show. Right away, uh, just make it short and sweet. <clears throat> okay, basically, it was uh, Sasha Banks versus Becky Lynch. This is Sasha Banks' hometown. Um, I'm kind of sad that this was on the pre-show because, you know, both these, um, both these ladies are really good um, competitors, in my opinion. I don't think they deserve to be on the freaking uh, pre-show, but whatever. Pre-show, so they're like live acting, so it's better, whatever. Um, it was an okay match, but the only problem was they didn't get very long, very much time. We got like five minutes, I think. Um, but yeah, um, Bank, Sasha Banks won, which, you know, what do you call it, which is not really surprising because it is an hometown. I figured they'd give her the win. But yeah, I mean, it could have been better, but I can't blame them because they didn't get much, they didn't get them much time. So I blame WWE or whatever the writers, whoever the hell they won. But yeah, um, Sasha won, so yeah. It was a pretty good match. I was kind of disappointed. Uh, it's not on, on the main show. I guess it was supposed to be on the main show and then we uh, changed our mind because the original idea was it was going to be, what was the original plan for pre-show again, Tony? Right back in Russo. Yeah, and I don't know why that we changed our mind, but we don't make the decision they do. We just make our review and that's about it. And bitch uh, and complain. Yeah, bitch and complain like everyone else do. And I know wrestling fans out there to say, real bitch, we just watch the show like everyone else does. That's a lie. Yeah. Um, yeah, I really enjoy this match. Um, Team Bad, before they had a match, they um, had a promo or whatever they did. They did. Um, um, that's about Team Bad it. needs to break up already. Yeah, yeah, what are your thoughts on that? Do you think they holding down um Becky Lynch and um um what's the face? Um uh, well, I think they're holding down no Becky Lynch, you mean Sasha Banks. Yeah, Sasha Banks. Do you think they hold her down? Yeah, they need to get her out of there. Uh, that, that was uh, it was cool five, six months ago, but it's running its it kinda of ran its course. Oh yeah, definitely. I hopefully I mentioned this off the podcast. I really wanted to see um Becky and um, um, Banks and maybe Charlotte, maybe possibly a uh, page a uh, fatal four away for the belt. Maybe I mean yeah, that'd be sweet, you know. Or four. Bailey. What? Or Bailey, if they call yeah. it, bring her up for Yeah, bring her in, make a fatal four away or whatever for the belt. Um, you know, four uh, ladies who used to be um in uh, NXT. That'd be sweet for um. For me, yeah, that'd be awesome, I think. Oh, hell yeah. And they're young, and they're high flyers, and they could do all that great shit. Um, okay, the first match on the card was the tag team belts in line. Usos, um, New Day, and who's the third team? Lucha Dragon. For me, I think this is a great match to kick off the TLC. What's your thoughts on this match to kick off the preview, Tony? I 100% agree with you. It was fast paced, back and forth. Um, each each guy in the match got a got their spots in. Um, uh, what do you call? It? There was a really cool spot where uh, one of the Lucha Dragons, Colisto or whatever, he did like a uh, he had the Usos or whatever um, on the ladder, and he did like a backflip with the Uso. He did his finisher, and he went. Then they went through a ladder and broke the ladder in half. I think that was really cool. Um, but uh, at the end of the day, because of Xavier Woods. Uh, the New Day can never win. Uh, um, so Xavier was, he threw a trombone at one of the dragons as he was climbing up the ladder and the dragon fell off. It was kind of dumb. I mean, a trombone makes him fall off the ladder and it's kind of dumb, but whatever. Um, well, I think Kofi pushed him off. I don't know. But anyway, at the end of the day, the New Day retained. Um, maybe they'll do a stipulation one day where Xavier's locked in like a shark cage above the ring or some shit where he 
and get involved as it seems he's always getting involved in the matches, you know? Yep. So maybe like dangle him above the ring or something in a cage, I don't know, or tie him up. I don't know, but it just kinda of somewhat gets annoying when Xavier is every always getting interfering in the matches every five seconds. Uh, I I don't know. It's just dumb how all three guys are considered champions when the tag team champs are just supposed to be two guys from the point that our New Day one? Yeah, it was a pretty good match. I mean, I had a feeling that New Day is going to retain. You had a feeling that's going to happen, Tony? Yeah, but but, it's a, but I, I predicted that. Uh, I, I felt that the New Day was going to retain, but I kind of want the Usos to win. Yeah, or the Usos, but Usos had their run, but I don't know when there's a, when a New Day title run is going to run out. Maybe the next review or maybe at Mania. I don't know when this is going to run. I know... You know, they have a great run. You know, they're funny, but they're very annoying. That You know, they have, they're, they're running their course out, from my yeah. point of view, you know? It's been like a year. Yeah, see? It's the same as shit. Yeah, same but well. it's, whatever, we, we gotta stop bitching and complaining, but it don't matter. Uh, what's the next match, Tony? Um, let's see. Um, just, hold on, I'll just pull it up. I, I think the next match was, um, fuck, was it, uh, I don't remember. Oh, right back in roots of uh, Snooze Fest. Oh my um, gosh, Jesus. I didn't really care for this match. I wasn't really paying attention Me to it either. that much. All I remember seeing was uh, Lana, you know, getting involved or whatever, pretending like she got injured or something like yeah. she usually does now. I don't like how she's doing that all the time now, but whatever. Um, she acting like a little bitch. Yep. But, um, what do you call it? Um, yeah, pretty much boring old match. Uh, could have just saved this for the pre show or could have had seen this on. Main event or superstars, I don't know, but yep. or Raw. Uh, whatever. Yep. This is a waste of their time. Oh, um, I agree. But basically, and what it's just weird though. They just had this match on Raw a couple weeks ago in SmackDown, and then they have it on pay per view. Whatever. Um, uh, Rusev won. Um, I don't really care, and so the rest that's really it. I can't really say much about the match. Yeah, it's not late. Really, I can't really get hyped up with this. They holy shit, you won! Holy shit, you lost! He's like. Big deal, you know? This is just a match that, you know, everyone wants to go to the bathroom during the Divas match, but I want to go to the bathroom during this one. Or maybe they want to buy some merchandise if you get this event, or... Or just put a bullet in their head. Or maybe just want to tweet about it and say, bitch, so what the hell, W? Are you freaking serious? <laughs> or maybe they just want to eat a bullet and just pretend like, just like end their life watching or, it. Right? Or maybe because they want to waste time for the main event, you know? Yeah, true. So let's let's go let's move forward. I wasn't really pleased at the, about this match because I could care less about this match or the feud, you know. I could care less about either guy. Pretty much. But um, they can be they could both be re released, and I wouldn't care. Yeah, but if probably yeah. if they went to a different company, probably they have a better um um uh, career there than they're right now in the V, you know. But DNA will hire us. Yeah, or our weight or. Uh, underground or whatever, but we get off subject here. What's the next match? All right, next match was uh, Del Rio versus Swagger in a chairs match for a U.S. title. Um, and I mean, it's nothing new here. Um, same old shit from what they faced before, other feuds before. Um, could have been better, but uh, what do you call it? I don't know. I, I feel like it was decent, but I've seen this match between these two so many times that I just. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's some cool spots, but it kind of felt slow, it felt lackluster, it just felt like it was boring overall. Um, I'm not a fan of Del Rio, I don't think he's really that good of a wrestler. And Swagger, yeah, he's okay. Um, but Del Rio forgot about him for the last six months, so I don't know where they decided to bring him in, but whatever. Um, but yeah, Del Rio won with a little stop in the corner and onto some chairs. Yeah, I mean, I have found that Dorio is gonna retain because he's gonna face John Cena once again for his belt sooner or later. So that's why Dorio retains the belt. Big freaking deal. You didn't think Swagger had a chance? No. I mean, maybe a slim chance, Tony, but overall, no, because. And again, WWE has happened buried under the carpet for the last five months. I know. Go figure that. Then he came out of nowhere to go, come back on TV. 
gets a title shot, loses, and now he's, I think he'll be done with the feud with the, the Rio, and that's how the way he works these days, you know? I'm going to challenge uh, Del Rio randomly, because, you know, John Cena's not in the picture right now. Yep, so who else is going to face, you know, so, I don't know. I guess a real American, right now. So this is, what year they they feud again, back then, for the belt? 2013. See, so it's all over again, just, instead of the world belt, it's a U.S. belt, and the few, I think, hopefully it'll be over with, but, I don't know, it all depends on how the Cena's ready to come back. Yeah. Heck it! Oh, uh, fuck, I hope he's, he's gone. Um, uh, so let's see. I think the next match was, uh, oh, uh, eight-man tables elimination match. Um, I, I don't know, like, the match was, it was okay. Um, I don't know, I felt like they could have done more, but I guess because it's PG, you know, they, they have their limits, but it could have been better. But, um, I, guess, I think that's the Eric Rowan was the first one eliminated. Um, he got a 3D through a table. And then, who was next? Um, Rhino was next, which surprised me. I, I figured Tommy Dreamer would get eliminated first on the team, but Rhino got eliminated first on their team. And then, um, after that, Devon got eliminated. And then Tommy Dreamer. And then Bubba was the last one left. And then at the end, Bubba had a table in the ring. He got some lighter fluid. It looked like he was going to set the table on fire, but you know, it was just a big tease, uh, mm-hmm. whatever, and get everyone all pumped up. And then uh, he uh, got his big ass phone to the table, and the wide play. Um, I don't know, like, it could have been better, but I guess for what it was, it was okay. I don't know, I just felt like there wasn't much going on in this match. It just felt kind of boring, in my opinion. Uh, like I said, it could have been better, um, but I guess I can't really complain too much. It was cool to see kind of a, a hardcore match, you know? Yeah, pretty much. I mean, I had a feeling um, when he got the lighter fuel and when he poured it on the table, he waited too much time. He could just light that up in seconds. I mean, that'd be a great spot because everyone on social media will talk about this. Like, holy shit, holy shit, W went back to TV 14. No. Uh-uh, nope. It was just a freaking tease. I hate that when I do that, but whatever. Overall, it's a good match. I'm glad that Wyatt's won, but are you kind of mad that that uh, EZW originals did not win, Tony? Or what's your yeah, thoughts? I mean, because they they brought back Tommy Dreamer and Ryan Holt just to lose or whatever. I mean, I I don't know. I, I kind of wish that they would have won, but at the same time, the Wyatts kind of needed this, you know. I mean, they just lost to the Bros of Destruction, yeah. and well, they lost to the Roman. But they didn't really have to do it much either. Yeah. So I I, I guess is. I guess it's a good thing for the Wyatts. You know, they need a big win like this, so I'm, I'm assuming that feud is over with, but I could be wrong, you know? Uh, it'll probably be over. Maybe they'll have a rematch on Raw or something. Just yeah. like I don't know. You know what that is, but um, it was an okay match. Yeah. Alright, so next match was um, Dean Ambrose versus Kevin Owens for the NFL Championship. Um, this is a good match. I really enjoyed this match. Uh, fast-paced action. Um, I enjoyed this as much as I enjoyed their uh, Survivor Series match. Um, it was really good. At one, one point, you know, I, there was times when I thought Kevin Owens was going to retain, and there was times when I thought Dean Ambrose was going to win the belt. But at the end of the day, uh, Kevin Owens just won for his power bomb, and Dean Ambrose reversed and got a roll up, or some kind of roll up or something like that. Yeah. And I was surprised the match ended like that. I figured he'd do his finisher on him and win the point that way, but. Dean Ambrose won the title, and I marked out. It was really cool to have him uh, win. I'm a fan of either. I'm a fan of both of them, but I'm glad they finally gave Dean Ambrose the title because if you think about it, I mean, he's been going after that title. I mean, he went after the W title around the, in the middle of the year, but he at the beginning of this year, he was going after the IC title. Remember when Bad News Barrett was champion? Yeah, and plus, um, was he in the, um, uh, the IC title? Uh, for WrestleMania 31, the ladder match? Yeah, the ladder match, yeah. Yeah, see, he was in that chase too, so... So, you know, I mean, it was cool they finally gave him another belt. I mean, he was U.S. champion for a, for a year and a half, so... Yeah. Um, it, it, it sucks he never got the W title when he had the chance. When they gave, when they gave him opportunities, they never gave it to him, but... It's cool, I mean, I think the all he'll ever be is a mid-card champion, I don't know, but... Um, he won the title, it's cool, I hope he, I hope he holds it for a while, um... I'd be shocked if he holds it for like a month or he drops it tomorrow. Kevin Owens, I don't know, but um, good match, and uh, I'm glad Dean Ambrose is uh, NFL champ. Yeah. 
for that yet. <sighs> I totally agree. That was a very good match. Do you think that match was the match of the night, Tony, so far? I do. It was, yes. It was very good. Um, fast pace. I love the ending. I was very surprised because Kevin Owens just won the belt uh, this past September, so I thought that he's going to give Kevin Owens a long IC title run. I'm wrong. So what's next for um, Dean Ambrose? What's next for Kevin Owens? I mean, of course, they're probably going to go at it again for the belt, but do you think it'd be, this time it'd be another stipulation or what? Probably just one-on-one. Okay. I, I really like this match. Um, maybe this is a step forward for the Dean Ambrose because I remember back in the day, if you were IC champion, you automatically become um, WWE. World champ. Yeah, so maybe this is a possibility. I know they don't do that anymore like they used to do it, but maybe this is things to come for Dean Ambrose. We can only hope. Yeah. So. Catch if it doesn't happen. Yeah, so it was a very good match. I'm very happy. I don't know about social media, how they reacted, but I really liked it. I did too, and I'm glad he's champ. He yeah. deserves it. So, um, let's move forward. All right, uh, let's see, we have the uh, Divas Championship, Charlotte versus Paige, a rematch from Survivor Series. Um, Charlotte had a uh, Ric Flair, her daddy, um, in a corner. Um, I thought this was a good match. I mean, I liked it. Um, you know, uh, kind of the same same as their Survivor Series match. Um, but, you know, in this match, you could tell Paige, I mean, uh, Charlotte is, is, you know, she's a full-fledged heel now because of her actions. I mean, her dad was trying to help her out during the match, and she was acting like her dad, you know. But at the end, um, was it she pulled up one of the turnbuckle covers and hit Paige's head against it, and she won the match that way. After the she didn't win a match by submission. She just won it by uh, hitting Paige's head against the metal on the post. And then, uh, yeah, uh, she won the match that way. And then that was that. And then um, uh, later on in the night, was it later on or after the match? I don't remember, but Paige uh, was backstage with Becky, and, it looked like, you know, I think they're going to be building towards that feud now. Peggy, Paige, um, Charlotte, and Becky, because uh, Paige will, uh, Charlotte will probably turn on Becky or something like that, and they'll have a Diva Championship feud or whatever. But it was a good match. I liked it. Um, and, yeah, um, Charlotte retained. Yeah, I mean, it was not really that long, but it was better than, than nothing. Then backstage, Ric Flair and Charlotte, they're going to celebrate. Then, then um, was it Becky? Yeah. And then I thought it'd be a little fight, but you could tell that's Charlotte's next opponent. Maybe tomorrow night in Raw or Rumble. Yeah, Rumble. So what do you think is gonna happen? Do you think Rumble or Raw? Probably Rumble. Okay. Because um, it's rare that it's rare that we get the title matches on Raw these days. No, I know. Probably Raw. I mean uh Raw or Rumble. Well, if W is smart, have a non Raw and let Charlotte retain, you know, get people to tune in. Then and have get a, Becky a rematch at the Rumble. Yeah. And have a win. Who, who, Becky? Yeah. I like Becky's uh, ring attire. That's kind of neat, you know, with them glasses. Same. And that's All pretty, the goggles. Yeah. Yeah, same hair. And then I like how she did, to the, um, you know, the pre-show, like um, the, the smoke and all that. That's pretty neat, you know. I like that, too. Okay, what's the next match? Our main event. You can go ahead and uh, take it off of this. The main event. Now, let me do a little recap. Um, Ron Reigns won the tournament because Seth Ron is out do, do, I mean, due to injury. So he won the freaking tournament. No one, um, no interference. But uh, Sheamus freaking cashed in. And the Russia's history. So this is a rematch. Um, overall, it was a pretty good match. I really enjoy it. I'm not too sure about Tony. But uh, Sheamus. I'm sorry, not Sheamus. But um, Roman Reigns was this close to get his freaking belt back. Uh, Legion of... What's Sheamus? League of Nations. Le- what? League of Nations. League of Nations. Freaking screwed Roman Reigns. So he got screwed That's again. What? Bear, yeah, what the hell was he at? Was he in the back room and playing video games? <laughs> Jerking off, I don't know. I don't know. But, you know, come on now. How many times are they going to screw Roman? He got screwed at WrestleMania this past um, um, March or April. 
Then he got screwed at Money in the Bank by Wyatt. Now he got screwed at TLC. Come on, W. This is getting old. Do you agree, with Tony, or disagree? I agree. Um, I don't know if they have any trust in Rowan to be to be their top guy or what what not. Um, it is getting old. Um, you know, I figure I would figure because Roman is you know his blood's in the WWE or whatever. You know, he, he's in a, a wrestling t a family, you know, heritage or whatever. I figure they have faith in him, but no, um, it's sad. Uh, so sad. I I don't know really. Um, I know it's getting old. Come on, I mean I. Okay, the first time, it, you know, it's something new, uh, and you get screwed, I mean, Armenia, then we decided to do it again, and again, so Jesus Christ. Now, the, you know, you know, Seamus, you know what, if you think about that, if you pay, look at it, Roman Reigns had a chance to knock the ladder away from Seamus. Did you ever notice that? I did. There was a few times he, yeah, he, he had a chance to knock it over, but no. And then uh, I don't know if he forgot or say, you know what, hell, let Sheamus retain. I let him, I let him kick my head off. Yeah, I was pissed. What the freaking hell? Then the cool part was he went freaking ape shit about freaking time. He went nuts on Triple H. Yeah, no, but before that, um, he, he beat went up. Off, he went off on uh, Sheamus and the League of Nations with a chair. Yes, because. You know, uh, they cost him the match. Yeah. He went ancient then, because this whole time, um, leading up to um, this match, she was like a little goody two shoe, smiling. Come on, you're supposed to be a freaking badass, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, and then, um, what was it? Then, um, when he was beating down Seamus and the League of Nations with a chair, here comes uh, Seamus' butt buddy. Yep, uh, and, and, and Stephanie, and, and, um, first, uh, um, Triple H. Uh, looked at uh, Seamus because he got his ass kicked with all the chair shots. And then you could tell that Shame I mean, you could tell that Roman Reigns is going to do something because uh, uh, Triple H was not in the right position for a clean shot. So he did like a Superman punch first, right? Yeah. Then, but later on, he did like a uh, spear. Well, he did a Superman punch and then he just started going, uh, he just started going ape shit on Triple H with a chair. So like, and then, and then... He threw Triple H, oh, he powerbombed him on the announcer table. It didn't break, which which seems to be all the time. The table yeah. never breaks the first time. And then uh, he laid up Triple H. He, Triple H was laid out on the table, and then he did a, he grabbed on the other table, and then he ran and did an elbow drop. And then, and then he just went his yelling and stuff. And then, he, you know, he, he thought he was just going to go, you know, he thought that was the end. He was going to go, well, but I figured he was going to do something else. And then, you know, he seen Triple H getting there. Like, they, they were helping Triple H up. And then he ran back in spiritual voice, and then that was that. And if you notice that there was plenty of time uh, to end the the pay per view, I think it was what nine forty five, I think. Yeah. The, the the thing was keep acting because I don't know what time the the match actually ended, but I wasn't paying attention. Yeah, people, I could tell on social media was very pissed off how it ended, but after that. People did not give a shit who won the match because they liked the the, the beating. If you pay attention, or anyone who's listening, they said the fans says thank you Roman. So I don't know if they're happy because Roman finally did something to the Thor. Or maybe it was just something there. It was just something like you know, some something was going on, like some some action was going on. Yeah, you know, something about freaking yeah. time. Now you told me, you know, off the podcast, maybe a possibility we might see Roman. Versus Triple H at Rumble. What's your thoughts on that? Well, I think it might happen because I think they're building to that match because, um, well, he, you know, he attacked Triple H at Survivor Series, you know, um, after he won the title. And then, you know, tonight he fucking won eight shot on Triple H. I just feel like they're going to build uh, to a Rumble match between the two. And then the stipulation be like, oh, Roman, if you beat me, you'll enter the Royal Rumble or something like that. I don't know. Like, uh, whoever wins the match will enter the Rumble or something like that. I just feel like they're going to have a stipulation. So it's a, a match. I just feel like they're building towards a match. So it's the same thing that happened at WrestleMania 30 when it was Triple H versus Dan Bryan. Dan Bryan, if you beat me, then you could be in a Triple H. But if match. I win, I'm in it. Yeah, see, it's the same thing. Yep, I so, remember that. I think that'd be a good thing, you know? Yeah, um, I don't... I think Roman and, uh, Roman and Triple H could put on a good match. But you prefer to see Seth Rollins versus Triple H. But yeah, because Roman's not the best worker. Nope. He sucks in the mic. But whatever. His in-ring skills have improved, though. Yeah, but he he needs to shut his mouth up and just kicks ass. He needs a manager. He needs a mouthpiece. He need he needs a yeah he needs a manager. 
Yeah, I need a mouthpiece, like, for, like, rock ass pony. Or oh, bring in uh, Jimmy Hart from back in the day. <laughs> yeah, or, well, if Bobby the Brain Heaton wasn't uh, fucked up with cancer or anything. Yeah. Then. But I don't understand. Tater Tats, come on now. You're supposed to be like a badass, but this is PG, so come on now. That's what that's what we get. Oh, and the, pro and the, and the promo for the match, they said that. Oh, that's right, they did say that. And the promo yeah. for the match. And, um, do you heard tonight, I forgot what match was it, they they chatted CM Punk? Uh, during the uh, Del Rio Swagger match. Yes, wow, holy shit. I thought that shit was over with people. Yep. I, I, bet, I bet any money, once this comes on TV, they're going to edit it out. Like, they edit out everything. Yeah, I don't know why. Just leave it as it is, though. Leave it as it is. So, overall... No, I, th thought we have, I thought we, you know, can speak our minds. I guess the, they don't want to hear that. Or actually, probably McMahon will say, I don't want to hear... I don't want to hear uh, punks. That bastard. I fired that bastard. Yep. So, overall yeah. thoughts, Tony. What's your thoughts on this last period? I thought it was a good show. Better than last year's. And a good way to get... I guess it was a good way to end the year, you know, for the pay-per-view-wise. Yeah. Yeah, with the big bang. You know, especially the, the end of it. Yeah, that well, was like, holy shit. I yeah. didn't expect that. Nope. So I guess a lot of people are going to tune in to my night. Well, I always tune in, so... Yeah, I tune in regardless. Yeah, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a royal fan, regardless if there would be a shit or not. Yep. I know so, some people say it's boring as fuck or it's shitty and that's why they won't watch, but that's well, them. They're not yeah. true fans, then. Yeah, well, I just hate when they have, they have too much freaking promos tonight. It seems like they have more promos than matches, usually. Yeah, it did seem that way. I agree. Oh, no. So yeah. I'm surprised they didn't. I'm surprised they didn't book no match for the, the Rumble they, like they usually do, like they did last year. You know. Well, last year, what was it? Roman came back um, after injury and he, he entered himself in the Rumble. I know they did that, but well, they didn't do really any teasing for the Rumble besides, uh, you know, the promo for the Rumble. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I like that logo. Same. Yeah, it looks, it looks like um old school, like Greek, kind oh. of like the old school ones. Mm-hmm. So yeah. No, I'm just saying they they, they didn't end up like um. Um, you know, like, you know, Shameless, you know, um, Roman, fine, you get, you get a rematch with, um, uh, Shameless at the Royal Rumble. Maybe they will say something on Raw, but, you know, probably... Um, I, with, with the, with the ass beating that he gave, Triple H, I doubt the rematch for another match for the titles, like, I doubt he'll even give it. <laughs> so you think the title pitch was out, out of, the um, World War for a while? No, I, I think he'll get it. He'll have to beat Triple H or something. Okay. He'll something to get it. Do you think Triple H is just going to get up to him after he beat Triple H's out? No, hell no. I hope it's like a stipulation, I mean, like a street fight. Like a, a um, barbed wire match, something cool. Hell in a cell? Hell in a cell, yeah. I don't know, maybe. That'd be cool if they had it that be cool they at the Rumble. They've never had the Rumble before. Or Last Man Standing? Yeah, I think that been played out already for Rumbles. True. Uh, we like oh, to, yeah, I like to see Hell in a Cell at the Rumble, that'd be sweet. Especially since you're going. Yeah. If I'm not going, that's still be cool. Yeah. So we'll, we'll see what happens, but hopefully the reason does not change their mind the last minute. Hopefully they're just not a tease, you know? I hope I hope it actually leads to a match this time around, because I know, what was it, last year on summer, last year or summer time, I know they were, they were going to do, a, supposed to do Triple H and Roman, but they changed their mind or whatever, and they never yeah. did the match. I don't know if Triple H was not. Uh, physically ready, like, oh, uh, maybe he's dealing with an injury or something. I don't know, but they didn't, for some reason, they didn't do the match, which was kind of, whatever. It would have been a good way to build Roman Reigns up from there. Yeah, now, Seth is, um, you know, out of action because of injury, and they had to change their whole um, game plan, you know? I kind of miss Seth already. Yeah, he hasn't been that long, but he's got, hey, you never know, maybe he might make a second appearance at the Rumble with it. <laughs> I doubt they didn't earn the Rumble because he's guaranteed a title shot because he never lost it. That's what I'm saying. He could win the he could be no win the rump, be no Rumble and win. But he could automatically go get a title shot. He don't even have to win the Rumble. Yeah, true. But maybe the WWE's gonna change their storylines anyway when he's gonna come back. True, or true, he'll, he'll, I could see that, but that's not but that's not very long. I mean, he's supposed to be out like six months or so. Well, look at Cena. Cena does it, so. Well, that's Cena now. So what's Superman? Well, this is end for the podcast for the 2015 review. So it's a pretty good one, not the best, but I agree with you, Tony. It's way better than last year. I'm glad they didn't bring back the 
Uh, the set. Oh yeah, that was awful. That was. So. That's about it. Now I gotta get pumped up for the Rumble. Not because I'm going there, because I love the Royal Rumble. It's the road to WrestleMania and all the stuff. I just love the Royal Rumble match, period. Hmm? I just love the Royal Rumble match, period. Oh, yeah. Now, before we let you go, do you think the Rumble will be the main event? Or do you think it will be like the mid thing, mid card? Uh, main, main event. You think so? Yeah. It should be. I know a couple of years ago, Punk and Rock was the main event. But I guess it's because that was because of Rock. Yeah. He's a main attraction. Mm hmm So you wanna plug your channel again, Tony? Oh uh, yeah. Uh, um go ahead and uh, follow me on Twitter, I'm the Raider of Viper One. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, The Wrestling Talent, and follow me on Instagram, uh Raider of Viper One. Okay guys, you guys can follow me on Twitter also, it's TNRI thirty two. My both of my links from YouTube channel, check them out. And I do have a Facebook live page, I'm not too sure when this is podcast our review will be up maybe uh monday tuesday whenever it'll be up sooner or later so everyone have a good one and i talk we will talk to you on the flip side the tag team yep. champions out of here right tony yes oh yeah okay good night and that's it wrap it wrap it up for the two, 2015 tlc review good night